Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> See, we talked Descartes. You get a whole history lesson here, too. What a bargain. Descartes, Mercator, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, redis among other things, rediscovered perspective. And they had mastered the idea of a vanishing point. And you, complex perspective can have two vanishing points, four vanishing points. You know this if you got involved with CAD and, and that kind of stuff. But this starts relating to the way that computers generate 3D bars. 3D bars are a big fad. They look so cool. And PowerPoint generates them automatically and by default. So does Excel. Everybody's using the hell out of 3D bars. This is the biggest sin on the planet right now in terms of chart making. And I'll show you why. If you show the, if you put the vanishing point above the horizon, you will see the top of the thing as though you're in a helicopter flying over the building. You know, you're, you can see the landing pad on the top of the skyscraper. Okay, that is computationally, in terms of the way that graphics programmers write software, that's the easiest fudge in the business because if you locate the vanishing point up there, you don't have to recalculate the chart if the data changes. And so that's why it's all done this way. You will always see the tops of those bars. Number one, they are very difficult to interpolate visually where the tops of the bars are. It's, give me a straight edge so I can walk up there and, and see where the tops of those bars go. I don't even know. But see, another thing that the programmers love about this is if there is a data series that dips below the one in front, I can still see it. Well, here's one of the things that you can do in PowerPoint. And you're still seeing the tops of the bars, but at least you're kind of turning things so that people can see them easier. And so I changed the elevation setting to 20 and the rotation to 10, and this is what you get. Um, it's a little bit better, 